What is going on, everybody? We're back today. Me and Cody. Uh, it's raining outside. Not a whole lot we can do. Me and Cody are messing with this jet ski, or this tiger shark, more accurately, that we got... <coughs> that we picked up on our uh, abandoned Cummins video. Picked this thing up out of the bushes, so today me and Cody are going to mess with it and see if what we can get it yeah, running. Cool. Huh? Which side is gas? Um... <laughs> Use unleaded gas only. This is the gas okay. side. That's the oil side. But anyway, this is... <gasps> I really don't know anything about this machine. Hey. I don't know what your model it is. I don't know what model it you is. You can comment if you... Yeah. First step, we're going to clean it up. Right, Cody? Yeah. Yeah, Cause that's right. Because this thing is disgusting. I don't even know what size motor it's got on it. I hope it's a 770. I think... I, I guess it's either a 640 or a 770. It's one of those two. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna set up on a time lapse and really watch this thing. <laughs> machine here it's all cleaned up and beautiful as you can tell it's perfectly brand new looking now yeah we got the inside cleaned up now what we're going to do with this thing is we're going to set it on the jet ski trailer and we're going to pull it in the shop and we're going to start messing with it and hopefully we can get it running and if we can get this running then i can get me a i'll have me a jet ski in because tragic backstory if you people did not know i had a c2 sp that the engine locked up on last year so I've been jet ski less ever since so this is my new chance at having a jet ski without spending a bunch of money so we're, hopefully we're gonna get this thing running and give it a new life because it was just living in the bushes before but yeah just hang in there we're gonna see what we can do with this thing got it in the shop first thing we're gonna do is pull the battery out yeah if I scrub it I'm sure it'll become cleaner yeah. For right now, but Not I'm just necessary. trying to get it fixed. All right, Mark, what we got done so far? We took the old battery out. The old battery was a lawnmower battery, which is not what goes in this machine, but it worked, I suppose. But we're going to go ahead and hook a jump box up to the battery cables, and we're going to check compression first. Then, if compression's good, we're going to check spark, and then we're going to go to the gas side of things and check the carburetors and all the hoses and clean out the tank and all that good stuff. So, yeah. It starts to jump up. Yeah. Let's get it running. Yeah, get, get it running. Thank you, guys. Yeah. It's parking. This thing has compression and it sparks, so we're going to check out the carburetors. All right, we got new spark plugs in the thing, right, Mark? Mm hmm No, they're not new, but... Well, we got spark plugs in it. We got better. a can of gas, and we got the fuel line stuck in the gas can. Let me see. Are you kidding me? Disgusting now. I like it still got water in it. It does. Or that one side just doesn't have enough compression. Oh yeah, it, it'll run. Okay. Yeah, these things are soaking wet. Yeah, it's got water in it. Look how wet that is. Alright. Tired. 
All right. All right, what we got going now, Mark? Trying to hook water to it so we can let yeah. it run. We took the connector off of one of our broken sea dews and this hooked up to the water hose. So we got the water hose hooked up to it and we're going to crank it up, have water running to it. And uh, just see, we're just going to let it run for a while. Just decided it was going to be diesel it said it don't need no spark plugs yeah <laughs> crank it back up see what it do it started taking off pop chris mashed the throttle and it just kept on going and going and mark it, <laughs> it wouldn't cut off and mark unplugged the spark plugs and it still wouldn't cut off still that, running the same all that was insane it took like a minute well i had to rip this out of the gas tank yeah I have to plug it up. It might. The kill switch wouldn't even kill it. It's cause. It's cause like, all it does is kills your spark. <laughs> Back out here after lunch, Cody had two sandwiches. He's a monster. But uh, I'm fat. anyways, Mark is going to take the carburetors off of this thing and get them cleaned up. And they might need new kits in them. I don't know if they do end up needing that, he's gonna get that. But anyways, taking the carburetors off is the oh, next step. So this. he's gonna get to it and I'm gonna change the oil on a vehicle. So uh, please don't break. yeah, please let's get on with break. it. got the carburetor out of the jet ski and it's really disgusting so I'm just going to take it apart and clean it and I'll probably end up getting a carburetor kit for it. Cody, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not very fun videoing skills. Mark! Hey. What are we doing? Fix and put the carburetor back in the jet ski. But I need some carburetor cleaner to spray right inside there first. <laughs> Probably a carburetor adjustment. Oh. Cool. So what do you think, Mark? Being a piece of junk. Like it's 
Cody. This is the best jet ski on the market. As you can tell, it's really fast and economical and good for the environment. And it always runs. As long as you're alive, it's alive. So go get yourself an Airhead Matrix instead of a 95. Oh, you also have to get these flippers. That's the propulsion. Yep, go get one.